Hey, it's Allison from Computers.Mom, and today I'm going to show you how to back up your Mac with Time Machine and explain why every Mac owner should be using it. Let's start with the basic questions. No one wants to experience that horrible sinking feeling when you realize you've lost irreplaceable data. So we all know backups should be a priority, but it's really easy to forget or put it off. So a good backup system is one that will back up your critical data regularly, automatically, and reliably. You shouldn't have to think about it. Backing up a Mac is simple once you understand a couple of basic things. Every backup requires a place to store the backup data and an app or program that does the backup that controls how often and where and what gets stored. One of the great things about Macs is that they come with a really good backup program built in called Time Machine. That's its icon right there. Time Machine will back up your whole computer easily and automatically once you get it set up. And not only does it back up your data, it backs up your apps and your settings and even the whole operating system. That's incredibly helpful in case your computer crashes or you're moving to a new computer or even before an update, which is a really good time to do a backup. The second thing to understand is that backup is not the same as sync. A very common misconception is that if you're syncing your files to iCloud, you don't need backup. But backup and sync are not the same. If you're using iCloud for your photos, for example, your photos are syncing to the cloud, but so are your mistakes. So if you accidentally deleted something important on your phone or your computer, it's deleted in iCloud as well. And in a few weeks, you won't be able to recover it iCloud mirrors the data that's on your device right now, today. Backup, by contrast, keeps a series of snapshots of your data at different points in time so you can recover to a specific date. Thus the name Time Machine. So while it's great to have your stuff syncing to iCloud, it's not a replacement for true backup. So how do we get this set up? First, you need a device to store the data, a backup drive. Time Machine backs up to a device either on your network or directly connected to your computer, not in the cloud. So if you happen to have an Airport Extreme time capsule like this, you can use that because it has a drive built into it. You can do it right through your network. But Apple stopped making those in 2018. So you're more likely to be using something that looks like one of these. Just make sure that whatever drive you're using has a connector that's compatible with the ports on your Mac, especially a newer Mac that only has Thunderbolt 3 ports that look like this. Or you just might need a little adapter to get them connected. When you're buying a backup drive, the rule of thumb is that it should be double the size of the storage on your computer. So how do we find that out? Click the Apple on the upper left-hand corner of your screen and then About This Mac. On the window that appears, click Storage. And you'll see, we're going to zoom in here, how much space is on the internal storage of your Mac. It's listed both here, 251 gigabytes, and here, the numbers are slightly different just because of rounding. And this 251 gigabytes is really sold as a 256 gigabyte hard drive for technical reasons. So I need double that, a 512 gigabyte backup drive, minimum. Larger is also fine. So. Here's my drive with its connectors, and I plug in the cable to the backup drive, and then I plug in the other end of the cable to the computer. When I plug in the drive, what I should see on the desktop of my Mac is the drive appearing as an icon. So now we're ready to set up Time Machine, and in fact, your Mac will probably pop up a window like this, because it's noticed you have an external drive and it wants to know if you want to use it for backup. If I just click Use as Backup Disk, I'll be pretty much done, but I actually want to show you something else, so we're going to click Decide Later and do this the long way. So just in case you don't get that window, click System Preferences, and in the window that appears, click Time Machine. Now, if I check Backup Automatically, I can choose the disk I'm using, and if that's not the disk I want, if I wanted to replace it, I just click Select Disk and choose something else. But that is the right disk. The last thing I want to do is click this button, Show Time Machine in Menu Bar, because that allows me to see Time Machine up here and see what's going on. Once I have the Time Machine icon in the Menu Bar up here, clicking on it shows me what's happening. First it'll say Preparing Backup, then it will tell me that it's backing up and I can watch its progress. And finally, when it's completed, I can click on it again 
and it'll say latest backup and give me the date and time of the latest backup. In other words, latest backup tells me it's completed successfully. Now, one last tip. If you need to disconnect the backup drive, say for, because you're moving the computer, be sure to eject it first by dragging it to the trash like this. When you see it disappear from your desktop, then it's safe to remove it, but not before. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments and questions, and if you found this helpful, click like and subscribe for more useful content.